Hi and welcome students. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix your spelling and grammar errors in a variety of different ways and then at the conclusion of this I'm going to show you how to print your Microsoft Word document onto an envelope. Let's go ahead and get started. So I've created this memo here and the memo is going to Jennifer Garcia and down here I have my memo message. Alright so first thing that you have to know is down here along the status bar on the left side you'll see this button in the bottom left. It says Word found proof errors. Click or tap to correct them. You can always click on this to start your spell check. So when you click it, it's going to open up the spelling pane on the right side. Another way to do this is to press the F7 function key on your keyboard. So if I press the F7 function key, the same thing will pop up and it'll go over spelling and grammar errors. A third way to do this is to go to the review tab and go over here to proofing group and go to spelling and grammar. Alright, so I go here to spelling and grammar and now I can go through and make the changes that I need. Okay, so the first one I see here says temporary, but it's spelled incorrectly. So what can we do? I can go right here to the correct word and click change and it'll be updated. Now notice that that last one had a red wavy underline. This one is double blue underline. So what does that mean? It's a grammar error. So this one says, I hope you used the Florida port. Instead it's going to be, I hope you use the Florida port. So we go ahead and click change there. Next, it'll look for uh, a grammar error that says consider using concise language. So this area here, it says ultimate goal, okay, and you'll see this underline right here. And the word ultimate is unnecessary here, so we could just click on goal and click change. And then finally we get down here and we know a red wavy underline. This one says repeated word. So word will tell you a lot of different ways to uh, fix your spelling and grammar. However, it will also tell you in this area what the problem actually was. And then we can go ahead and click delete. And so that gets rid of everything within our first paragraph. Now let's say I wanted to go ahead and take a look at this second paragraph in a different way. Instead of having that pane open, I could right click on the word references here and it will tell me that I spelled it incorrectly and it will give me a list of other words that are good to use. And if I click on references, it will change that. Alright, down here it says, I'm available for an interview at your earliest convenience. Well, convenience is spelled incorrectly, so I could right click it and click convenience, which again, it will give you a little bit uh, or a couple other synonyms that are useful as well. Now let's say I changed it to convenience, but I didn't really like that word. So what I could do then is double click to select the word and go to the, the thesaurus. And so the, th the thesaurus, that's hard to say, uh, will uh, open up on the right side and you can change it to any of these other words, okay? And so you could change it to suitability by uh, clicking on it and then clicking the right arrow and going to insert and it will change it to that different word. So if there's any words that you use multiple times, you can change them by using the thesaurus. Another way that you could change them is, let's say I wanna change computer, I could right click on computer and go to synonyms. And if there's another word that works, maybe I'm talking about specifically a, a processor, I could go right there and change the word just like that. Now you'll also notice right here, a double blue underline. If I see that one, I could also right click on that and change it right there. So again, there's multiple ways to change all of your spelling and grammar errors in your document. So now that this document's ready to go, I wanna actually print it onto an envelope. So the first thing I wanna do is highlight the to address. So the to address is right there. And then I'm going to go to the mailings tab and I'm gonna go to the create group and right over here it says envelopes. I'll click on that and it will automatically populate the two into the delivery address on the envelope. Then I could go to the return address and this is where you would type your own name and your own address. So I'll just go ahead and put this here and we'll put the address in. And then what you'll do is you'll go right here to options and under options, you'll confirm the envelope size. Now at this point, you should be getting your printer ready with an envelope inside. And then you'll choose the envelope size. In America, the standard size is size 10, so it's, that's our default. And we click OK. 
and then you would click print. All right. Now, once you click print, it'll actually print out the document onto, not the whole document, but the to and return address onto the document. And then you can add a stamp and go ahead and mail the document using an envelope. So that's a quick and easy way to use Microsoft Word to fix your spelling errors and your grammar errors and then print it onto an envelope. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section. I'll try to help. Have a nice day.